up guys flood munitions here again with a uh, little shooting video on my kimber micro 9 had this gun for a long time and uh, i have not shot it in a long time reason being is because i'm typically carrying my sig p365 xl which uh, obviously has a much higher capacity and that's a little bit easier to shoot a little bit more accurate especially with the red dot um, but this is still a, a tried and true platform. The Kimber Micro 9 is kind of based off of a 1911. As you can see, you've got the exposed hammer, large beaver tail, steel frame, a uh, left-hand side thumb safety. Um, and this guy does carry seven rounds in that little extended mag there. And I do have a round in the chamber. Um, the nice thing about the hammer fired gun, especially with a thumb safety, is that you can drop the hammer down with a round in the chamber if you are, you know, not wanting to carry with uh, one in the chamber and the hammer back. If you do want to carry with one in the chamber and the hammer back, you should pull that hammer back and put the safety on. Um, that's why I have that Technoclip on there. Uh, the Technoclip system can work, especially if you want to be minimalistic. Uh, the downside to it is that there's nothing to protect anything like clothing, like an article of clothing or a, a piece of gum, I don't know, whatever it may be, from getting in between that trigger guard and the trigger, which is something you don't want happening. So the nice thing about this gun is again, you got the manual safety and you can drop the hammer. So I haven't shot this thing in a long time, so let's see how we do it. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Hopefully we can shoot a couple of these flies out of here. So holy hell. six seven rounds in there i guess there was eight had one in the chamber not a bad platform it's pretty controllable i mean you've got an all steel frame there so it's heavy so it's definitely not uh not terrible to control while shooting um, I'm shooting at a steel target that's about, I think, a, I guess it's a 10 inch, um, <laughs> and missed a few rounds. I'm probably 10 yards away. Um, I'm just kidding. It's right behind the camera. <laughs> Load up uh, some more mags, do a little bit more shooting, less talking. Uh, it seems to be that most people just enjoy watching shooting, not hearing my dumb ass talk. So let's get right to it. That's interesting. I want to leave a fresh round on the ground. That's like $3 these days, right? Something like that. If you're uh, trying to save money and you're picking up live ammunition off the ground, like I do, make sure you wipe it off. It's a little blowy. Make sure it's clean before you sticking it in anything. All right. We sell a ton of these at the shop I work at and it still boggles my mind. For the same price, if not less, you can get a SIG 365 or a Hellcat or a Glock, uh, Smith & Wesson, Ruger, and you can hold just as many, if not double, the amount of ammo. Um, in a polymer frame, so it's going to be lighter, uh, it's going to be striker fired, so you're not messing with this bulky hammer, this ginormous beaver tail, which is nice for controllability, but for carrying, it's kind of getting in my way, and I'm not really down with it. So, uh, I would prefer something like the 365, which is my daily carry, 
uh, or the Glock 43, 48, 43X, even the 42 if you like that 380. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's just a good looking gun. Right, mini 1911. If you guys like this video, if you enjoy this content, let me know, give it a thumbs up, give me a uh, subscription, I'd appreciate it very much. And uh, yeah, if you guys got any questions, just let me know.